She's smart, bubbly, and claims she's totally confident. Yet this beauty is the result of a hundred and thirty thousand dollars worth of plastic surgery done over the last four years. Everything from basal liposuction to cheekbone shaving, chin implants, nose job, and a boob job done in Singapore, Bangkok, and Korea. Jacqueline Ko has been the subject of controversy over her frankness on her procedures on her blog. Ten surgeries later, articles claim that she rates herself a mere 3.5 over 5, and says she has a few more surgeries to go in a quest for perfection. Do you actually、um, are still intending to continue plastic surgery, though?、Mm, no, because okay, actually,、um, what was asked was they asked if I felt that I was a perfect 10.、Mm. Okay, and my reply was no, I don't think I'm perfect yet.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, they asked if I would intend to undergo <laughs> more surgeries. And I said that if I felt that I was aging, I would.、Mm. Yeah, but I didn't say that I wanted to go for any more. Do you think it's healthy to want to go for more? If you know, if perfection is what you seek, yes, lah. I, I don't think it's. I don't think there's anything wrong because this is your life. Yeah, no one has control over you unless the money that you use is from your parents. Then you shouldn't. Now you claim that you get about eight hundred emails a day. Yeah, three hundred to eight hundred. That's a lot. Yeah, they're from everywhere. Yeah, I have people from Puerto Rico. Yeah, and weird places like Lithuania, asking me stuff, and I just reply lah. I, I mean, to the best of my knowledge. Yeah. Now, do you think you're being a good role model, especially for young girls? Okay,、uh, I don't encourage plastic surgery. Okay, I don't advocate it like oh, you all of you should go for plastic surgery or something like that. No, I don't advocate it. But if you think that it can enhance your looks and you will feel better,、uh, maybe to get that job, you know, or、um, to feel younger, to feel better about themselves, I think they can, they can, and they should make the choice to go for it. But I don't encourage. Everyone will undergo plastic surgery because there's a lot of risk involved. Like if there's no free revisions and if your nose collapsed, yeah, what can you do? You say that you don't encourage everyone. Has、yeah. have have there actually been people you say you know maybe you shouldn't do? Actually, quite a lot. Yeah, because this um this was very minor. It can be solved with like minimum effort. So I would tell them say that no, I don't think it's it's necessary, absolutely necessary. And others that are really young, like like seventeen, eighteen, and I told them that they should actually wait until at least they're twenty three. Because when I underwent, when I undergo my my procedures, I was an adult, so I could you know make my own decisions. That's why I was quite concerned about writing the post, and therefore when I presented it, it was in a manner that. Uh, you know, I told I tell you all the risk, what you have to watch out for,、um, how you decide. You know, actually, if you email me, right,、mm-hmm. you will notice that I don't ever recommend you my surgeon, and I don't ever tell you which surgeon I go to. Even on my blog, I state very, very clearly that they should know exactly what they are doing. They should know exactly what they are getting themselves into, and they should do their own research,、uh, and not. Just base everything on what I say. What I can say is that this is your own responsibility, like how you are responsible for your own life. Yeah. So you have to ensure that that choice that you make, you are able to bear full responsibility for it. Any more memorable emails?、Mm. Okay, I actually had a few、uh, readers that I met up with, and I actually accompanied them、uh, when they went for op. The lady that I actually went with was because she actually had a mini accident. Part of her eye muscle was、uh, not functioning very well, so one of her eye was bigger than the other. Yeah, because of this, she felt that you know low self-esteem, felt ugly,、um, felt inferior, and all that. And I, I really think that she needed boost, lah. Yeah. Have any of your doctors actually ever told you, actually, you don't really need to do this? Yeah, local doctor. Uh, the ones that did my breast, he was actually very frank and professional. He actually told me that I only need to undergo、um, chin implant. That's all. Yeah, the the rest of the operations that I suggested to him, he didn't want me to undergo at all.、Mm. And yet you did. Yeah. Why? Because I really wanted bigger eyes. So now, what do you do? Just maintenance work. Yeah, just maintain. I actually go for my regular Botox. Six months once and fillers. 
I don't want any lines. <laughs> so that's all you do now? Yeah. Is there anywhere else you're not satisfied with? Uh, not at this moment. So now do you think you are perfect 10? No. <laughs> Why? <gasps> no one's perfect. Yeah. But you're satisfied with who you are now? Yeah, very happy. Very well, contented, yeah.